morning everyone unfortunately it's that time again we have to leave go home I wish the stay was longer but that's how it goes four days three nights since the tour has come to an end and uh, yeah it's, it's been a good stay really enjoyed it too oh, it's just gone so fast <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah, so in total, that's five nights that we stayed in Satara. So uh, we've made a decision now that not because we don't like it, but uh, we have no more plans to come back. You know, we've got a trip to Balula booked in September. But uh, yeah, we need to expand our horizons and uh, camp in more uh, rest camps and see what they like. But uh, Satara has been good. Uh, really sad that it's come to an end. And uh, now we're on our way home. So yeah, I know. It's one what we're going to see on the way back now. Yeah, hoping that we're going to see quite a bit. Uh, we're going to stop for some break here at uh, Shukwani and uh, then head out Pabeni probably. So, uh, yeah, stick with us and uh, hopefully we see those uh, sightings that everybody wants to see. <laughs> but if not, stick with us for the ride anyway. The Satara region has a number of lala plants, seen growing near but not on the banks of rivers in Knobthorn, Marula, Savannah areas. They grow to 5 to 7 meters tall with fruit about the size of tennis balls, which are delectable to both elephants and baboons. We passed by Kumana Dam, the site of our first experience with wild dogs on the hunt. If you have not seen that video, go take a look. We'll link the video at the end of this video. Kumana Dam was void of all predators, not even the crocodile was visible on this day. We did see a number of antelope breasting and frolicking along the banks of the water. Before reaching Sukwani, we had two special sightings. One was of this large herd of buffalo. Most of the herd were in good condition and were peacefully grazing and enjoying the warmth of the winter sunlight.
Our next great sighting was of this lioness. We were told that there was a male in the area too, but he was not visible to us at the time. Although once we reviewed our footage, noticed that he was photobombing us hidden behind the bushes. We moved a little further down the road to see the lioness from a different angle. We caught a glimpse of the male doing what lions do best, sleeping. We saw his paw sticking out and as he made himself more comfortable, we lost sight of him. And so it was time to head to Shukwani for another fantastic breakfast in the wild. Shukwani is a picnic spot just above the apex of the Golden Triangle. This is a route between Lower Sabi, Shukwani and Skakuza, which is game rich and popular with tourists, making Shukwani a hive of activity, although it is seldom overcrowded. It is also a great location for a bathroom break, even if you don't stop with food. We changed our plans to exit at Pabeni as the bush telegraph had let us know there was a super herd of lions at Transport Dam. Being herd nerds, we altered our plan to exit at Numbigate. We left Transport Dam empty handed except for a water monitor. These reptiles are often seen at water points and are a treat to watch too. We learned that the bush telegraph is not reliable. But on our way to Numbigate we were treated to the special sighting of a mother hyena with two cubs. She was spending her Sunday afternoon catching up on her sleep while the two youngsters were enjoying themselves chewing on the roots of a tree. Hyenas are matriarchal in nature and these are one of two species found in the park that are led by females. Unlike the other, the elephants, hyena females are also larger than the males. As we headed west, the imposing sight of Lechokhoti greeted us. She is such an impressive geological beacon, but her presence signaled the end of another adventure in the Kruger National Park, a special location that each of us should have the privilege to visit more than once in our lifetime. It has been fantastic having you along with us for the ride. If you're not a subscriber, please consider pushing the subscribe button. And if you are, we appreciate your support and love hearing from you. In the unlikely event that we are wrong, please feel free to correct us where you can. And until next time, be safe and join us on our next great adventure.